Okay, in this problem we have to solve this cubic equation. So we have x cubed minus 2x minus 4 equals 0 solution. So we'll start by using the rational roots theorem, which gives us a list of all of the possible rational roots. So we look at the factors of the constant term. So factors of negative 4. And we divide all of those possible factors by the factors of the leading coefficient factors of 1. And when we work this out, what we'll get is, you know, all of the possible rational roots. So the factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4, uh, but also negative numbers also work. So plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 4. These will all be the factors of negative 4. And the factors of 1 are plus or minus 1. So you just divide 1 over 1, 2 over 1, 4 over 1. So in this case, it's really simple. We just get 1, 2, and 4, plus or minus. By the way, the reason um, the minus also always works is because you can always do something like this. For example, um, let's say it was 4. You could do something like this, negative 1, negative 1 times 4. So that gives you a negative. Or if it's 4, you can do, or if it's negative 4, you can do this, negative 4 times 1. Or you can do negative 4 equals uh, 4 times negative 1. So you can do all kinds of things and include negative numbers. So it's really important to include the plus or minus. So now that we have um, these, what we do is we check using synthetic division. You can also mentally check. For example, if we plug in 1 here, we'll get 1 minus 2 minus 4. That's not going to work. Negative 1 will give us uh, negative 1 plus 2 minus 4. It's not going to work either. Uh, 2 might work. Let's check 2. I think it will. I have a, a hunch that 2 or negative 2 will work because 1 uh, there's no way if you plug in a 1 or negative 1 that this is going to work. So when you check, you use something called synthetic division. So basically you write down the 2, and you put a little bracket, then you write down the coefficients of your polynomial, which are 1, 0, right, there's really an invisible 0x squared here, negative 2, and negative 4. So we're going to use synthetic division to check if 2 is a solution to this equation. So you write this down, you write down the um, coefficients, and to start the synthetic division process, you just take the 1 and bring it down. So 1, and then you multiply. 1 times 2 is 2. Then you add, 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Then you add, negative 2 plus 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Boom. Then you add, you get 0. That's good. Whenever you get 0, that means that this number is a solution. So x equals 2 is a root or a solution to the equation. So that's one of our answers. If you don't get 0, you just check another one. So in theory, you just go through and you just check each one. And whenever you get 0, you stop. Okay, You don't check anymore. Now we're going to do something else. So because 2 is a solution, what happens is it tells us uh, that x minus 2 is a factor, okay? So we have our original equation, which was x cubed minus 2x minus 4. And 2 is a root. That means x minus 2 is a factor. And the rest of it is right here because we use division, so this is the rest of it. Uh, start with 1 less. So this is x cubed, so start with x squared. So it's 1 times x squared, or just x squared, plus 2x plus 2. So we factored our original problem, and you want to set this equal to 0. That means you set each piece equal to 0. And then um, we've already done this, right? We already have 2. We already know that's an answer, so we don't really need that. So we just have to do this. So to solve this, we can use, um, I guess, the quadratic formula. Uh, but maybe let's, let's complete the square, because that might be easier. So to complete the square, we'll move the 2 over here, subtract it over. And now we're going to complete the square. So basically, you take the coefficient of x, divide it by 2, and square it. So 2 over 2 squared is 1 squared, which is 1. So you just take this number, divide it by 2 squared, and you add that to both sides. I right, just do plus 1 plus 1, and then rewrite it down here. And this factors, always, it's always going to look like this, just from memory. And then you just take this number and divide it by 2 every time, and you keep the sign.
right? Just completing the square. And this is equal to negative 1. To get rid of the 2 here, uh, we'll just take the square root. Take the square root. Uh, whenever you take the square root of like a variable term squared, you always get a plus or minus. So this is x plus 1 equals plus or minus, and then i. Then subtract 1, so you get negative 1 plus or minus i. So now we have all of the answers. We have 2, negative 1 plus i, negative 1 minus i. Went through that kind of quickly, uh, but hopefully it made a little bit of sense. And just a really quick recap, because I went so fast. So when you first see the problem, it's cubic, right? So you can't use the quadratic formula. So you want to like reduce it to a quadratic. So you start by looking at the factors of this one, and then you want to um, divide by the factors of this one, okay? So factors of negative four over factors, it's always last over first, okay? And then always put a plus or minus, always no matter what, and then just divide one over one, two over one, four over one. I mentally checked one and negative one, and I just didn't feel right. So I started with two, I got super lucky. Um, and two works. So what you do is you put the two here, then you write down the coefficients of the polynomial. So one, zero, negative two, negative four. So the zero, it's really there, right? Because zero x squared is zero. So you do have to include it. To start the uh, synthetic division process, you bring this one down, and then just I always think of like a bouncing ball. One times two is two. Zero plus two is two. Two times two is four. Negative two plus four is two. Two times two is four. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. We can rejoice because whenever this happens, you know you have a solution to your equation. So x equals 2 is a root, also called a solution. Then this tells you that you can factor your original polynomial equation as x minus 2, right? Because whenever 2 is a root, x minus 2 is a factor, times what's left. We got that via the division process. And you always start at 1 less. This is cubed, so you want to start at 2. If this was a 5, you start at 4. Okay, so it's 1 less. 1x squared plus 2x plus 2, boom, there it is. Set it equal to 0, right? That's what we were trying to do. We were trying to solve this equation. Um, this is useless because we already knew that. And then you can use the quadratic formula here, but I decided to go through and quickly complete the square. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.